the reporting is coming out that behind the scenes, someone like a Hakeem Jeffries and, and yeah. Senator Schumer have spoken to the president and, and, and have explained to him that he has a great legacy to stand on. He's done a lot of wonderful things for the country, but it's time for him to pass the baton, much like Nancy Pelosi passed the baton to yeah. Hakeem Jeffries. Um, I, I will say this. It's his decision to make. Um, it seems to me that these behind the the scenes meetings that should be private are being leaked intentionally to sort of force his hand. Um, I think that's disrespectful to the president. I think it's disrespectful to the office. Even if he doesn't drop out, I think we have to understand that there's a binary choice. There is a threat, an existential threat to democracy on one side and Joe Biden on the other. Right. So he still has my vote because he has Vice President Harris right next to him, who is ready to step into the role of president, God forbid something happened to Joe Biden. So I, 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 I still think, you know, Democrats, instead of throwing Joe Biden under the bus, need to start talking more about the Republican program, which is program 2025. And I implore all of you who have not read it, it's, I'm sorry, project 2025. It is 900 pages. It is not the easiest thing to get through, but it is the scariest thing you will ever read. It is a v very dark vision of America, and that is exactly... You're not throwing him under so, the bus. Son, yeah, son. I was going to say, exactly I actually on. think that Biden is ultimately going to step aside. I think that he recognizes the stakes of the election, and I think that... Democrats who know how to win elections and know that this has consequences down ballot for the House and for the Senate are going to get through to him. I think we could be having a very different conversation in just a week or two. Mm. Now, what becomes interesting to me is, do does it then immediately become Vice President Harris, or is there some kind of an open convention where they kind of test the strengths? This will become appointment viewing. Tens of millions of Americans will tune in because six in ten Americans didn't want this rematch, so they're going to want to see what are the other options. What's the option other than Trump? And there's a three-month window to do this which I actually think could be effective to introduce someone to the public and to get folks actually energized. Because we've always said this is between Biden and the couch. It's not that Donald Trump is so strong. Between he has Biden and what? The couch. The couch. Donald Trump actually has massive vulnerabilities. It's been Biden's weakness that's allowed Trump um, to serve. If someone mean, else can energize, Explain people staying, staying home. home. People staying home instead of voting. I believe these leading Democrats would not make it public if they didn't feel they needed that pressure campaign to help them with their decision. Mm. And a friend said this the other day. And again, this is not about age. We've discussed how 81 looks on some people and how 81 looks on other. It's about a cognitive ability. And someone said to me, Everyone has to take the keys away from grandpa one day. And I mean that not in an insulting way. I mean that in anyone with an elderly parent or someone who's in a condition, sometimes you have to step in. So I think the public campaign just shows the pressures and what people are seeing behind the doors and that it's but concerning. But real quickly, Sonny, I want to reiterate, I've said over and over why Biden or anyone else on the Democratic ticket resonates with me. Yeah. In contrast to 2025, as well as knowing what's at stake for this election, right. the three main reasons that I will go Dem regardless is reproductive rights are at stake and Please don't minimize that to just abortion. That is IVF. That is family planning. That is making your own medical decisions. I think also one thing that irks me and it's boring to a lot of people is the tax code. We have got to start taxing billionaires in this country. There are literally and corporations. over 800 billionaires. 800 billionaires. And you know what? We bring in a quarter of what we used to generate in taxes in the 1970s. Population's going up. Taxes are going down. Yeah. Something's wrong with that. The have-nots and haves are so far apart right now. And final, finally, we have to be good global citizens. This new isolationist yeah. thing is short-sighted and misguided. And that's the so Republican we, yes, plan. Yes, and that's what I mean. So th for those reasons, that's why the focus on the candidates almost doesn't matter to me as much as what's at stake. People fail to understand that. Not your age will make you do what you have to do. Not because you're old, not because you're 90 years, you cannot do certain things. People are different. It depends on individuals. So you cannot just assume that because she's young, she can do it. Because she's old, she cannot do it. No. Some people are 90, but they can function well. Why some people are even 30s, they won't even function. So it depends on individual. So um, people were just rioting. President Biden is old. President Biden is very old. President Biden is old. He's 90. 
he has to step down step down you old man what can you do you're very old you cannot even talk away remember he was um he always had this speech defect he was a star he has been a stammer long time president brandon to even have that confidence as a stammer so you want to become the president that's courage on his side and he could rule for four years and he was being selected though he's stammering so he's doing great, so great. Some people say they cannot stamp. They, they, they don't have any speech defect like to stammer. But they cannot even speak like him. So he's doing perfectly well. Being a stammerer and he's still ruling. He's doing his job. The most important thing is the job. So you cannot be saying because President Donald Trump is home. But he functions more better. Because head-wise, he's more healthy than President Biden. President Biden, not because he's old, he has a lot of uh, um, health concern. You know, he has passed through a lot. The wife died. You can imagine that somebody, a young man who just got married, put yourself in this scenario. You have a wife. You have three little boys, three little children, two boys and one girl. You're, or you go to work and you're preparing for Christmas. Your wife going, darling, I want to decorate the house. I want to do this. I want to do this. She's excited. You're excited. You're preparing to come back home and meet your wife. You close from work and you're just watching. Put yourself in this scenario. All of a sudden, you receive that phone call. Your wife pass and your daughter. Two others are in the hospital in the coma. That's a young man. Just from the job. That was, they say it was like 5 p.m., which means that that's the time usually closing for work. He has to run to the hospital. The wife died on the spot. That was a Christmas period. She was going to do shopping, like to buy to decorate the house. I don't know what happened. This driver from nowhere hit her on the side. She died. The little baby girl died, which was the last born. The two boys all went on a coma. They were in therapy, they were in the, in the hospital for more than one year because their legs, the accident was a very horrific, horrific accident. You know, psychologically that affected him already. You lost your bride, your best friend. You lost your partner, the mother of your children in a traffic accident. There was no time for her to even tell you goodbye. There was no, you know, when people died, when they were sick, like sick for a little while, for example, at least you even have time. Your mind is prepared. You know, the mindset is very important. At least you're even thinking if she died, if he died, this disease. Then someone you kiss and you pray and say that that's what they say, especially couples. You always have to say goodbye to your partner. You can never know. The conflict is not a good one to be fighting. I'm not talking to you. I'm going to work. Because if that's the, if that the last time you see that person, that's why some people go cuckoo. Because you don't have that closure. You are not able to forgive that person, that money the person was living for work. That's why your partner is living for work. Hold him, kiss him. Tell him goodbye. Take all the problem and put in the trash. But yet, most people don't stay listening. And all that fighting, all that. For nothing. Why did you keep the toothbrush here? Why did you keep the salt? Why did you put too much sugar in this thing? Most of the time, 80% of the conflict couples even have. You listen to it, you may have no sense even. Why did you smile when I frown? Why did you frown when I smile? Why did I say hello? You just say hi. All those stuff you'll be asking yourself why. That's not the scenario. The wife died. He was traumatized. After that, the son, which he has struggled, come and died again of cancer, which was another hit. Now he died as a young man, already married with a family. A grown up man, he died of cancer, which was not under hit. They say in his family, people died a lot of cancer which he has lost a lot of relatives from that cancer. Then the son that he loved, the only son that is left, get become addicted to drug. 
It's like you walk your whole life for nothing. Your daughter died. Your son died. Your wife have died. The only son that you're looking from that woman now is that hunter. Is it seriously in job? What will you do? And then now your daughter that you have now, your last wife, is in job. It's just like life is hopeless for you. So all these things are the scenario of President Biden. I guess people say that it affects him mentally also. That also helps to derange his, his thinking, his um, capacity mentally. So actually, President Biden was able to step down. As everybody says, oh, they want French blood. He did, and President and Vice President Harris represent him. So what do you think? Do you prefer, what, who do you prefer? Do you prefer President Biden to rule or President um, Harris? But most people have been voting for Harris, especially young people. So there's going to be a change. Who do you believe will win? President Donald Trump or Harris, Vice President Harris? Let me see your opinion on the comment section. Do you believe that this year will be the first year that America is going to have a black woman? Is she going to win? <laughs> oh, let me see your opinion on the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. If you have not subscribed, let's subscribe and help share the video. God bless you.